welcome back practically uh, there may arise many situations where the standard bushings that we have discussed so far do not serve the purpose so in such situations we may have to design and make special bushings so in this segment we will discuss some of the situations where uh, we may require special bushings so one such situation is where two or more holes may be so close together that it is impossible to have an individual standard bushing for each hole. Now this problem can be uh, approached in different ways. So one of the possible solution is to use two or more holes in one standard bushing. So the holes are close together, so we have uh, made two holes in the same bushing. And of course the distance between the holes is small and two standard bushings uh, could not serve the purpose. So two holes drilled in the same bushing can be used to, to drill two holes close enough as shown in this figure. We can do the same actually for three holes that are 120, degree, uh, 120 degrees apart. So we can make three holes in the bushing that are 120 degree apart and we, we can make these three holes in the part. Second possible solution could be to make one hole in the bushing but in a centric location. Uh, the bushing is indexed 180 degree for drilling the second hole. So this is the position of the first hole and once we have to drill the second hole we will uh, rotate this bushing and this hole will be placed here. We will lock it in the new position using this flat on the on the shoulder of this bushing and we can drill the second hole. So this is another possibility that we can drill two holes uh, very close to each other using one bushing. Another possible solution is to use two standard bushings, but their uh, heads are modified for close hole drilling. So a flat is ground on the body of each bushing. The bushings are pressed into the bushing plate and are prevented from turning by the interlocking of the two flats. So this is one bushing, this is the second, and we have made their heads flat and they are sort of locked together in this position so we can make two holes uh, in, the, in the part. So this is another possible solution. And you can, of course, think of other possible solutions as well. But the main point here is that we need uh, to make special bushings in, in this case. Second uh, situation is where we, we have to drill a hole in a curved surface. So we are having a curved surface on the part. So in this case, we can make the lower part of the bushing to, to suit the contours. So, are, so we are making the bottom of the bushing curved as well. And secondly, the bushing should be as close to the part as possible in this case. Same is true if the surface of the workpiece is curved in the opposite direction. So in this case, we can make the bottom of the a drill bushing of sort of concave shape and the, uh, and the bushing should be as close uh, to the part as possible to provide strength to the drill bit. And same is true for a drilling hole for inclined surface. So in this case, the bottom of the bushing will be inclined to suit the uh, shape of the workpiece where hole is to be drilled. And again, the bushing should be as close to the part as possible. So in all these cases, the clearance should be as uh, less as possible. We then have another uh, type of special bushings. They are extended range bushings. These are used where regular bushings are too short to properly support or guide the tool. So the bushings, the standard bushings are available in some standard sizes maybe up to five inches maximum uh, in length, but if we need 
uh, to have longer drills where the uh, where the surface of the part is uh, away from from the top of the bushing plate, then we may require such a uh, such special bushings uh, that are longer than the uh, normally available standard bushings. Then we have castable bushings. They are ideal for use in soft materials such as aluminium or plastic and provide greater resistance to rotational and axial forces. So because of this, these serrations or these knurled patterns, uh, they provide better gripping uh, uh, inside the hole in the jig plate and uh, they are sort of self-gripping. So they provide better resistance to the forces that are produced during machining. But there are many other types of, uh, uh, or there are many other situations actually where you may require special bushings. So you can uh, follow the link given in the description of this video to explore uh, some other special bushings that are used under uh, special circumstances. Thank you.